Hello there Reason people, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be looking at two things. The first thing, very straightforward, is how we can use multiple um, controllers with Reason. Someone's watched one of my videos the other day and they said, oh I didn't realise you can have multiple controllers. I think really what he was asking is how do you use multiple controllers with different combinators and different instruments. So I'll go through that. And the second thing I'm going to go through is setting up your own controller twice. Might sound a little bit crazy, but when I set my nectar up, I actually have it in there twice. I have it in there as the box standard nectar keyboard, and I also have set it up as a an other keyboard. And I also done that with one of my old oxygens as well. And I will go through uh, a couple of things of why I do that and where it really, really comes in useful. So I've just finished creating this patch here, which we can use as part of the demonstration. And what I believe the person saw was on one of my videos, I had my uh, LPK up here on the screen and obviously I had that playing one sound and I was doing a different sound with my nectar and I think what the key bit the car the person's missing really is is when you actually right click you have all these lovely settings here which are saying lock and as you can see I've locked my LPK to my atmosphere in this case So if I want to, I can obviously reverse this. So I can now have, this is my master. And I'm now going to, and just like I've actually got something locked there as well. So let's quickly turn it off. And I'm now going to put my LPK. It's now going to play the Respire. It's that simple. And obviously under service controllers, obviously I'm going to have my LPK set up. So that's that bit straightforward. Um, and obviously, <laughs> well, I've got so many service controllers, all sorts of things set up. Now, the second part of the video I said I was going to go through is setting up my controller twice. And some people might be thinking, well, why do you want to do that? And I actually do it twofold. And the first reason I will show you. And obviously, there is my um, normal Nectar set up. And there it is set up as a second keyboard. And I'll go through that settings in a little bit more details. But let's first of all go down and say, well, really, why do we want to do this? And we'll just clear that out of the way. And let's bring that down there. And um, as I said, there's two reasons. And let's just bring that up there to start with. I'm going to first of all lock my second um, Nectar keyboard. So this is, oops, that's not my keyboard. That's my mixer mode there. So let's uh, quickly... Get rid of that, and that's the one I want. And we're going to make this the master. And what it allows me to do is, obviously, I'm playing, but I can obviously come up and actually control my scales and chord. Yeah, quite straightforward, really. And if you think about it, you'll be able to do this with um, any kind of uh, effect. It doesn't have to be a player. I, th I found a player quite useful to do this sort of thing with, but it could be any kind of effect you wish to do with this too as well. Okay, sounding quite good. And this is now going to bring me on to, say, the second reason. So the first reason is it allows me to control my play, it allows me to control my effects whilst I'm actually playing. And the second reason being, let's just quickly scroll down here, and I'm going to bung this on here. So if I hold Shift and Control, that's going to allow me to copy that player rather than um, moving it. So what we've got here now, obviously, is I've now given the focus to the atmosphere. So yeah, so you know, so it allows me to layer up devices as well. So I could layer up two combinators. And the subtle, I wouldn't say, is it a big advantage or not? But obviously if I was to hit record now, I'd actually have two MIDI lanes of data, obviously one coming from the respire and one coming from the atmosphere. And I can then manipulate that data to how I see fit in the separate lanes. So as I said, let's have a quick look to see how we go through and set these up. So all you have to do is click on add, you go to other, and you may not have these first lot of um, 
codex to actually to select from. And this is the one you want is MIDI keyboard, no controls. Yeah, you need to give it a name. So this is to do my next task. I could call it Pano 2. And there we go, Panorama P4. It's, it's my port. Click OK. And if I want, I can select another and set another one up. And you can just keep setting them up and up and up. And obviously, you can then really layer quite a few sounds together with something like this. Go. Boom, boom, boom. So let's go and grab another sound and throw something else in. I think there's some, some stuff I was messing around in here. Oh, there we go. Let's go and grab that. And again, I'm going to grab that down here into this. Uh, let's see what have we got. Um, that could be interesting. Oops. on that as well. So what I'm going to do is lock then the third one to here, so that second one's locked to there. Let's quickly pull down a little bit of a base. Let's not have anything locked to that. And let's uh, lock my LPK to this device. So obviously I've got myself four devices layered up now and you've got yourself quite a nice rich sound going on. And you can have a bit of fun. Bye for now.